This is the second part of a tutorial on how to use the NLA editor. Unhide the Iron Man armature and all the Iron Man body parts. Select the armature and go from pose mode into object mode. Zoom back in the right view and I'm going to insert keyframes, go to frame one, make change and insert keyframe. Right click on the Y location and insert single keyframe. Go to frame 150, make change, move Iron Man so he's halfway out of the camera view. Right click on the Y location, insert single keyframe. As before, I'm gonna go into a graph editor window in the key menu, change the interpolation mode from Bezier to linear and back to 3D view. And now if we rewind and play, Iron Man passes Spock, but we need to add the run cycle. Click the snowflake button to convert the keyframes that move Iron Man into an action strip. Select the action strip and this will deselect any Spock actions. In the add menu, add action strip search for and select the run action, select the run action. In the active clip properties, set repeat. Now the run cycle is 10 frames long, so 15 should do it, but I found I needed 17 repeats. And if we play that, Iron Man runs past Spock. I'm going to add the wave action to Iron Man, add, add action strip, search for and select the wave action. Now I want Spock to wave followed by Iron Man, but I want to move Spock's wave a little bit down the timeline to say frame 25 and that will finish at frame 64. Now if I move the Iron Man wave to say frame 75, that will be 10 frames later. And let's see what that looks like. Spock waves and Iron Man waves. Did you spot the problem with Iron Man's left arm? After he waves, the arm no longer waggles. To fix this problem, go to the Active Strip Properties and set Extrapolation from Hold Forward to Nothing. And now, after he waves, the arm continues to waggle. Can we change an animation once it's been converted into a strip? Well, if I select the Iron Man action, there are no keyframes on the timeline to edit. But if I go into the Edit menu and choose Start Tweaking Strip Actions, shortcut key tab, the keyframes are back on the timeline. And if I change this window into a dope sheet window, we can access the keyframes. We can add, edit, or delete keyframes make Iron Man go slower or faster, or change his start and end locations. Once we've finished, back into the edit menu, stop tweaking strip actions, change this window back to 3D view. Using the NLA editor, you can mix stored actions with new animations to make more complex, longer animations quickly and easily. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the start file and the end file at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.